Welcome to New Land Survival. So for this series, we're starting off with zero dollars, but we do have a generous piece of property that our grandparents have left us. Uh, land 144 here. We're currently in town. And we're going to drive down there. Take a look at town as we're driving through it here. Again, that's all we have is this pickup truck, our bike, our old tractor, and our trailer we could use for cutting up for wood, put some sides on it, and put some grain in it, however things go. Again, this is survival series here, zero dollars. We're gonna see where we go. I kinda wanna like, maybe start with like some beehives and all that stuff, but first we gotta get some money. And depending on how things look, we actually don't have a chainsaw to start with, so we're gonna have to take up some contracting jobs, which I think the town is looking for some workers to mow the side of the road there, the highway system. So we can get that cut, bailed up, and get some money that way, and we can buy a chainsaw, start clearing out some trees, maybe rent some equipment, and uh, make room for our house. But we should probably pitch a tent as soon as we can in this first episode and grow from there. So you can see this is a very nice land area. The map is called New Lands. And we should be taking a right here at the top of this hill. And uh, it'll be the next right after that. We'll see our piece of property that our grandparents have left us. And we can start building out our well, a small getaway hobby farm I think is what we might try to do here. Here we are. Take a right. And the next right, right here. So the question is, where do we want it to be? Right here on 144, we got a nice spot of land to, on either side of the road here. So that's going to be kind of nice to see how things develop as we go. I'm real excited about that. I think, where's the, where should we put our farmhouse? Or I suppose we could pitch a tent and then do the farmhouse later. We got a lot of trees to clear out. I think we'll go on the left side here, probably actually right here, we could probably pitch a house, pitch a tent like right here, and then we'll work our way around there. Let's go ahead and kind of claimish the land. Well, we should get it all on strapped here. We'll fire this old beast up here. Oh yeah. Drive it right off. We should be alright to just drive right off. <laughs> nice. We can kind of claim this area. Real excited here to see how this thing's gonna turn out after we're all done. Yeah, somewhere right in here would be good, I think. So we could probably back in there and unhook our wagon as well. And then we'll take the bike out. Nice horn. We get out without killing ourselves. There we go. We'll just set it right here against the tree. Okay, so we got our kind of our base of operations established. We can't buy a tent yet until yeah, we need $2,000 for that. I think this would be a good spot right in here somewhere. And then we'll go from there. Start building out. So we need to look for work here. So we got bailing contract on field 3. Very generous amount of money which will help us get started. We gotta mow the grass, dry it. And then take the bales to the animal dealer. We're going to have to use the equipment, of course. Let's see. Field 3. There's this long strip right here. Which actually, probably longer would probably be a lot better than going around like that. Because it'll be... Yeah. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're going to borrow items. And then we're going to accept that contract. Field 3. And we shall uh, head on over there.
All right, so we got our items right here. I believe this was from the Hay and Forge pack. So actually, this is the first time I'm going to be really using this at a playthrough as well. So, yeah, we're also going to have to use this for the baler. So we need to tether it. So what? I don't know if it makes sense to turn both of these on right away or... They didn't need to give us such a big tether, but... It is what it is, I guess. All right, let's head on over to field three. And we'll get some uh, mowing on the highway here. Just got to get used to these roads here. This should merge us onto the highway system or the interstate. Whichever you prefer to call it. And field three should be up here on our left somewhere. I hope we can get over there without... I don't think there's a break in the rail system here. We might have to drive around. We should have went across the road and drove down backwards, maybe. Which it ain't very safe. Oh boy. Looks like we're going the long way around. Okay. Found our way across here. We just had to make a loop. And now we'll be swinging around. It's a little bit challenging. That they have those guardrails, they can't cross the highway, but I guess it's for our safety, right? Okay, so we got 14 right here on the right. That actually would have been probably a nice one to do, to be honest. A nice little area to start out with. I think we kind of win a little bit big for our first round. I don't even know where three starts. Somewhere in here. Must be right after that fence. Yeah, right in here. It looks like it's gonna be kinda hilly too. Let's see, let's double check the map. Uh, if we turn this on, we know right where... Yep, we're about right at the divide. And this whole area here. That should be, uh... Yeah, I think we got our work cut out for us here. So I don't know if... We probably need to do... Uh, both at once, I think, even though our tether is not, or our tether is a lot wider than we need it. Or maybe we could get it back on the way down, if we remember. Or just turn it on and forget it. <laughs> Might just do that too. <laughs> that way it's just done as we go. One less step. It wouldn't take us long to tether it, though, either. Okay, well. I guess we're uh, on our way. We'll see what happens here. I guess maybe if there's extra bales, we can store them at our place or sell them. I actually probably should sell them. There's no reason for us to store them. We'll take the extra money ourselves. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get at this, and we'll see you in a few minutes.
So I did decide to do the tethering after the cutting just because there was too much stuff to go around. The working width was way wider than our cutter, of course. So I figured just do this after, which was no problem. It went pretty quick. I do want to check what this green speck is on the map here before we... It's about right in here. A little confused at what that is. I don't see it here. It's only when... Oh, it must be something with precision farming that's kind of goofy. Alright, so we got our tether, we got to get her raked, and then we got to get it bailed. I think what we'll do is we'll leave this stuff down here. We shouldn't need it, but just in case we do, rather than having to run back. Oh, I hope that... There's so much garbage, I hope that guy is alright after he went off that cliff. There's a couple cars laying on the side. There's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, just an unlikely event that we need these. They'll be here. Okay, so we should be able to take the off-ramp here and go grab our baler and maybe a, a bale lifter. I think there's two lifters in that renting pack, if I remember right, but we're only be able to get one. We gotta get her bailed up first anyway. I think what we might do is come the wrong way, <laughs> just because it's gonna be hard with traffic, but if we get off to the right... Otherwise, we're gonna have to go down farther and then find a way across. We'll study the map. I was I would prefer to do it the correct way. But with that uh, barrier in the medium, it's kind of hard to get over there unless we're on the right side of the road. Okay, yeah, the, so we got a rake. Unfortunately, this rake is a single row, so it's going to take us a little while to do that. Should we... Yeah, let's do this. Let's put the baler on the, or let's put the rake on the front to get it down there, and then we'll bring the baler on the back. That way, we only gotta make the trip back for our bale lifters when we need them. Okay, let's study the map here. See if there's another way across. Yeah, unfortunately, with the way traffic goes. It's not going to work unless we drive all the way down and then come back. So we'll try to go, we'll have to go the wrong way here, unfortunately. I do not like doing that, but what do you do? Put our flashers on and everything's okay. I will say though, I did really appreciate this. Uh, Hay and Forge Pack DLC Force doing something like this. Obviously, the turning radius of it was very handy. As I felt it was a lot more useful than it would be, a, you know, on a farm. Or kind of work like this is a lot better. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if... Let's put this together. If we could do both of these. That's probably not going to work. We'll just give her a shot once. I doubt that this will work because it's going to be way offset from the baler. It's actually not enough power here anyway. Yeah, let's. We're going to have to do it one by one. We're going to have a hard time getting up that hill too. So we'll just drop her off here. And then we'll get this on the back. And then we'll have to go back and forth. We can make, put two rows into one so we'll get away from the road. Alright, we'll get it away from the road. And then we'll come back on the same row and work it into one big row. So off to work we go!
Okay, I think we can bail that little strip there. Whoa, that was a lot of work to get done there, but we got her done. We'll get to try this baler out. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of bales. Might be kind of tough to sell this if we do get a lot of bales. I think... Uh, where did it say we're going to have to sell them? Take the bales to the animal dealer. So the animal dealer is going to be way down here. We're actually right here, so we could take this road this way. It'll still be a drive, though, especially if we have... Four bales, we're gonna have to watch her. Well, they should be able to sit correctly on our lifter if we don't go too crazy. Again, it all depends on how our how many bales we get out of here. Which I guess would more be better. I guess as long as the job is finished, we get paid for it. Okay, fire this up. And we'll see how this goes. I actually haven't even used this baler yet in FS22. I've used the wrapping one. Let's see here. I thought trying to get jammed up. We'll start on the outside, I think. So we can at least get going. Might have to use the rake and get it away from that ditch there. I'm kind of curious how this is going to work going uphill on those those two hills we got. Could be a little rough. Whoa, yeah, this is gonna... We're gonna pop a lot of bales out. It's going fast, though. We're 10 miles an hour. Okay, here we go. First one. Drop her off. Actually, do we have a bale size? Maybe that's the small sizes. Let's see if we can change that. Yeah, it's uh, 125 centimeters only, so... We're going to have a lot of bales, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> but we're getting paid good money for it, and after this, we can get our tent pitched up. And I guess we'll go from there. Okay, just the last little bit here. Actually, we're not going to get a bail out of this, so I probably shouldn't even waste our time. So what did we end up with? We got 21 bales. And we could do four at a time on each trip. That's going to take us, well, five and a quarter trip. So that's... We got a lot of uh, running back and forth to do, but let's go grab our forks. And we can see uh, where we're at here. So people might initially thought that getting paid the 9000 for this contract is probably a lot, but for how much work we're doing and running back and forth we're going to be doing, I think uh, it's fair. <laughs> I think it's quite fair, to say the least. Like I said, if we can get four over there at a time, it would be just over five trips. Which is, we got a fairly long distance to drive. Too bad the dealer wasn't up over here. But it is what it is, so we gotta deal with it. So our contract is at 20% complete right now. We just gotta get these bales taken over. Let's see, I think... I haven't used one of these in a while here, so I wanna make sure... I think what we do is we pick the two up, and then we can put it back into the folding position, and then they might just... 
kind of stay on our our unit here. Hopefully it goes easy. So far so good. And the other. Yeah, so what we'll probably do on the next episode is focus on getting some land cleared. I don't know if we can fold this or not. Do we dare try? Okay, that might work, I think. Put the back here. Uh, yeah, the next episode we're going to focus on getting our land kind of cleared. We do have to get that our tent set up. We're going to get that set up here before we finish out uh, today's episode. So we got a place to sleep. Should be able to do it before sunset. It's already 3.30. If we can get this attached. There we go. Alright, now we just need one more. And then we can make our first drop off. Gotta find the most efficient route to get over there. That would be great. Uh... Okay, I gotta get used to backing in, it's the opposite. There we go, we should be able to fold this up as well. Secure it a little bit better. Bam, okay, so now, what is our best way to get over there? So we're right here. We could come up, wait no, that's a train. Uh, again, against traffic in that wrong, wrong road here. We're gonna have to try to sneak up to here somehow. And so we can get on this road and then come straight over. Yeah, there's no other road really to get over there. We could take this cut through through here. Which that might not be a bad idea either. That could knock off some time. Let's uh, see what happens, I guess, and get these first bales dropped off. Okay, so I think that would be our most efficient way through there. I just want to make sure we don't hit any fences. Probably got to come north of town here. And get on the road. Being careful, of course. Okay, so... The animal dealer will be right here on the right. I believe. It's definitely... Okay, yeah, there's the animal. Let me double check. Okay, so do we just drop them off here, then? We must. That bale drop-off is still part of the animal deer. So let's, uh, see... <laughs> get the first few here. Maybe? Do we gotta unfold? There we go. That might help. And bam, okay, 32%. We're making progress. Let's see if we can maybe come through the back way over here. That'd make, make it even easier. There's no fence here. So that's great news. Just gotta get our angle right. Right towards that field.
right, so we're at 99%. So really, it's only, I think, one more bale that we have to bring back. But we're going to put the other ones, actually, we should... Hmm. Because I'm not real sure how this works with contracts. We could probably keep some extra bales outside the trigger. Complete the contract, I think we could push those in with our tractor truck. We'll probably grab the truck, actually. Uh, and then smash them into the sale after, and then we can get extra money for those bales. We actually got a trip in. I think there'll be a, one extra bale for the sixth trip we gotta get yet. And yeah, we should have this wrapped up. So we have... Uh, we only really need to deliver one more bale when we complete the contract. Um, like I said, that's good money to be sitting though. We gotta take advantage of that, so we're gonna have to sell the one bale. Or should we just get them... Mm, trying to think the best way to do that. We could get them all over there and then just... Because there's gonna be that that one extra bale anyway. That would be perfect. To just stick in there. That's probably what we'll do. So I'll get all these over there and then we'll uh, try just selling the one. All right. It's the last one here. All of other four bales. Oh wait, no, other eight bales. Are up at the sell point, and we should be able to buy or sell those on our own after we complete the contract. So let's get this one back and then uh Yeah, we should make our first paycheck in this series. It does look pretty nice here. All nice and well, we gotta appreciate our work that we did. We probably didn't have to go so far up on these hills. Evidently, it didn't count on us getting eight extra bales. Which is insane, if you think about it. That should add up nicely. At least I'm pretty sure once we complete contract, they will still be there. Alrighty, here we are. Let's see what happens. One bale. Contract on field three is finished. Plus 513 sold bales. So I don't know if... Maybe it just gives us the money... Let's see here, what's the going rate for hay bales right now? 153. So we could probably just sell them right now, is that? Maybe we, we can just do that. And then I don't have to worry about driving over here to push them in. Yeah, because it gave us that money. It's in our bank account right now. 513. Well, that's kind of good to know then. Then we don't have to focus so much on... Well, actually, let's just plow these in. Make it easy on us. I got them set up nicely so we can just push them in. There we go. 2,125. We got five more here. So now we know for next time we don't have to worry about keeping count or anything like that. Ooh, I should have probably put that... Put it down. There we go. Look at that. Bam! So we got an extra 6,147. Nice. So now I suppose we can go ahead and return this, or complete the contract. Uh, collect. Bam, 9,000. So we're up to 15,318. So let's get back over to our property. And we have... I left the truck running all day, it sounds like. <laughs> we have uh, a tent to pitch here, so... Uh, driveways right there, so I think right in here would be great. Two thousand, it's going to cost us for a tent. We will upgrade it at some point and get a cabin and maybe another house later. But for now, we'll just pitch our tent. Bam, and we are set for the the day here. So <laughs> can also advance here, so we should spawn here. Excellent. So thank you guys so much for watching. On the next episode, we're probably going to go ahead and start clearing some of these trees out. We're going to buy a chainsaw. Maybe do a couple loads by hand, but I think I do want to rent the... Well, there's a unit that can go up on the back of a tractor. Oh, this, this one's not going to have enough horsepower for it. So we'll have to look at renting some equipment. Let's just clear out some land. And I do want to maybe put some uh, beehives up. 
they do cost a little bit of money, so I, that's something that we're going to have to think about. It would be nice passive income. And like I said, it's going to be kind of a hobby farm. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to take a nap, and we'll see you on the next one.